Bethany's just in my little area. Good morning, Doves. How are y'all? Alright, how you doing, man? Good. 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 Well, all right. Well, we appreciate you. Appreciate y'all. Y'all have a great day. Alright, you too, Doug. Bye.
Good morning, everyone. Good to be back on the broadcast today. I hope that uh, all of you are doing well and getting ready and uh, to go to the Lord's house somewhere today and uh, just praise his name. I, I hope that that's what you're wanting to do. Uh, it's good to be uh, serving the Lord. And, uh, you know, we're, we're not ashamed of the gospel. We're not ashamed of the fact that we accepted Jesus as our Lord and Savior. He's still... Uh, Lord of all, and I praise him for his blessings, and I, I just want you to let, help us to lift up the precious name of Jesus, and just do what God would have us to do. Got a lot of folks to pray about, keep praying for my wife, she's doing better, and we're just praying that she'll continue to get better day after day, uh, uh, Gary Blackman needs our prayers, want you to remember him, and Kathy, and Keep praying. Uh, Wayne doing uh, well. I had that uh, procedure Friday and uh, do pray for him. He's expecting to be here uh, this morning. Leon done good. They took some pollens off of him and uh, uh, gave him some medicine. Liz and waiting on the results of her test, looking for it to be well. Talked with Sister Marilyn and she's getting better every day. So we just praise the Lord for that. He praying for David and uh, Faye and the family there that lost their loved ones and others that's lost their loved ones. And I uh, pray that the Lord will continue to touch these that are sick in our church. And spoken, unspoken requests that we've been given, along with the request that has been sent to us through uh, our church page. We want to remember each one of them today. Most of all, if you're lost, you're a special guest. We hope and pray that you'll be saved. Uh, before it's too late, and today to be a good day to do that. Let us go to the Lord in prayer, and then you pray with us as we begin. Father, we're thankful that you allowed us this day. We're thankful for all that you've done and all that you're doing. And God, we still believe that you're on the throne and all power is in your hand. God, we look around us today and this world is so uh, blinded by the sin and uh, deceived by the things that have overtaken uh, of them. But God, we're thankful that the truth is still in you. You're still the light. And we put our hearts trust in you here today. We stand upon the word that God has been the uh, ultimate authority. And God, it will be as you have said, and uh, it will be. God, we just praise you now for answering prayer, uh, for touching the bodies of the sick, for bringing comfort to these that have lost their loved ones. And we pray for you to touch these in the homes, the hospitals, and the rest homes. Uh, God and supply all their needs and Father we ask you to save some soul today and God I know you will if they'll just open their heart and ask you to touch our homes and our families and again God thank you for your blessings Amen. I want to send it out today uh, if, if we can to all our faithful listeners and uh, watchers and Clyde and Ernie and Sister Bobby and Mary Ann and Sister Alice and Sister Joe and Charles and Linda, Brother Dewey, we appreciate you today. And, uh, uh, Johnny and Jeanette, Johnny and Dee, and also all the folks here in our church, Wanda and uh, Kathy and Gary and uh, uh, Joe and Sonia uh, <coughs> might be watching today or, or probably all watching. And Kathy and Aaron and uh, uh, Ashley Kenneth and uh, uh, Kathy and Ashley's always commenting. We sure appreciate that. Uh, from the bottom of our heart and hope that the Lord will continue to touch and bless and David and Joyce, I hope they've had a safe trip and that their loved one is doing well, that they went to visit that were sick and uh, just keep praying for all these needs today. Uh, and uh, I, I'm sure I forget people. Donna, we send it up to you today, Donna Henderson, and uh, may the Lord bless and also to Chris and uh, over to Jimmy and all the churches represented. We appreciate you and uh, may the Lord bless you. Dennis and Ava, uh, Malcolm and Ann and Randy and Donna. Uh, we appreciate all of y'all today and also Rodney and Christy. If you're getting to watch, may the Lord bless you and I uh, praise the Lord for you today. Um, I, I, I guess some of y'all are wondering why I'm not 
uh, mentioning uh, this day as being a Halloween. I, I don't celebrate it or believe in it. Uh, so uh, I'm not ashamed to tell you that. See, I, I, I know where it originated from. I know what it's all about. Amen. And sin by any other name is still sin the way I see it. It don't matter uh, what we say. We can call it tradition. We can call it uh, uh, whatever we want to. It doesn't change. It doesn't change anything for me uh, uh, today. And uh, James said, he that knoweth to do good and doeth it not to him, it's a sin. That's you right. might say, well, I didn't know or I don't know. The Bible said there was a time God went to the ignorance, but not anymore. Amen. We should know. Uh, amen. So uh, you pray for us. And, uh, if that makes you turn against me, well, I turn on. I'd rather have people turn against me for standing up for something as to follow me for believing in anything. Uh, so uh, uh, may the Lord bless you. Some we need to turn these on and uh, so you pray the Lord to help us this morning in our efforts to lift up his name and uh, to do all he would have us to do. We'll get a little better audio here just in a minute, but I uh, uh, want you to remember to pray for our nation. Uh, uh, these folks that are leading us in a path of destruction, I'm not ashamed to tell you, I pray that they'll be removed Amen. from office. I'm not ashamed to tell you that. A uh, friend of mine, I pray for these that's in a position to make a change uh, in what's going on, that they rise up and have a backbone and do what uh, needs to be done and that the voices of the people would be heard. That's my prayer. Uh, you pray the way you want to. That's my prayer. And I hope and pray that you'll uh, pray with us and help us uh, today. Uh, you know, it's just the day the Lord has made. It won't be any worse or any better than what you make it and what I make it today. Pray for our church, the outreach of our church. God has given us uh, uh, an audience of unseen uh, watchers, and uh, uh, we, we're just thankful for that. we got people that follow us week after week, service after service. We're thankful for that, and we just pray that the Lord will continue to bless. Well, we're going to get started on the song, Not Afraid, and uh, if I haven't mentioned your name, I apologize, but... We uh, do appreciate you from the bottom of our heart. Not afraid to bid this world goodbye. Not afraid to close my eyes and die for this curse. Here it is all 
David said, Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I'll fear no evil, for thou art with me, the rod and thy staff, they come to me. Ain't you glad? Amen. That God is with us today. I don't know if this is right here or not. I have nothing but heartaches and trouble. I was seeking. Trust in God and now I'm saved today. I'm mighty free. 
Amen. Ain't you glad of that today? I bless somebody pray for me. All right, you pray for Joseph. He comes around. May God bless and touch this morning. Amen. I'd like to sing this out to Randy and uh, Cindy and Wanda. I'm sure y'all are listening. And Mary Davis and her uh, her husband and uh, to her sister Diane, her brother JB, y'all all watching. Charlotte's watching. David Wood and uh, Alan. We know you're watching Keith, Rosie Chapman, Miss Book. Come on. Oh, no, okay, I got you. So but uh, it seems like everything's trying to work against us this morning, one way or another. Uh, it's one of the mornings you think, hey, I should have just went back to bed. But God with us and he'll help us. But anyway, we love y'all and we appreciate you. And God has been good in the midst of whatever we go through. Well, we still have to say that he has been Good. Um, the service thing is lagging a little bit on the on the internet, so I may have to switch over to uh, a different way uh, here in a few minutes and see what. Let's just do something. I'll see what it's uh, doing. I can't use that. This was one of Mildred's songs. She always thought, oh, as she was getting closer to the time she died, she'd always call me David when I go see her. And she always wanted to hear this song, so she always went to him saying, Though the crowd was great, she knew she had to be cheered. For this was her last hope. Ah. Uh -huh. 
think it's going to be flat. We'll see. Y'all can let us know if that's coming through better. I just they paused for a second because I switched it off Wi-Fi onto the phones. Man, see if that helps. If you're getting to uh, listen to us today, why we send it over to you. Satan has party. I'll be 
Amen. Ain't you glad of that today? The family who prays never shall part. We're in Revelation chapter number three today uh, for our radio audience. And uh, uh, we pray the Lord to touch. And uh, we're just going to do uh, one verse. Most of you know it by heart this morning. And so uh, verse number 20. If you have your Bibles, why well, turn over there with us. I want you to know where we're coming from today, what we're reading, what we're studying, what we're preaching uh, today. And uh, may God bless you. Amen. Uh, Behold, I stand at the door knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in unto him and sup with him, and he shall sup with me. Let us pray. Father, thank you, Lord, that you allowed us time to gather here today. Thank you for the songs. Thank you, God, for the opportunity. And God, we count not this, uh, God, uh, with, without any affection, but with great affection. Because, God, we are honored to stand before the people that we are standing before, whether uh, by means of the uh, uh, God, the radio, or uh, God, the Facebook. We, we don't know the hearts, but, God, we just know that you've allowed us to come. And you give us a message. And, God, we're just here today to be obedient to what you would want us to do. God, then, uh, Father, it lies at the door of the heart of everyone that's under the sound of the gospel uh, to be obedient as well. We ask you today, Father, now uh, to stir our hearts, give us grace, and give us strength and wisdom, the anointing of your power. And God, let us not uh, back up from the devil, but God, let us face the devil on the authority of the word. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to talk to you. A simple thought this morning, when there's no more knocking. Are you listening to me today? When there's no more knocking. Think about this. We're living in a world that's gone crazy over all the new devices that are being offered through technology. There's cameras today that you can see who's at the door no matter where you might be personally. There's speakers that enable you to address the persons or persons without ever opening the door. There's even the ability to lock and unlock the door by voice command. Uh, you know, all these things are not great. Most of you are familiar with them today. And, and many of people are telling themselves they've moved up in the world because all they have to do is tell Alexa and, and it'll get it done. Amen. Ain't that something? Uh, but I, I want to tell you what I'm here today for. Uh, the knocking that I'm talking about today uh, cannot be handled through program devices. The knocking I'm talking to you about today, uh, uh, friend, there's no one or nothing that can answer the call at the doorway of your heart but you. Amen. It's a personal thing. I want you to understand that today. In this letter to the Laodicea of the church, John was instructed, uh, a friend of mine in the writing, uh, to write this verse in which we read, read today. John is, uh, Jesus in this letter is speaking to the whole church. Uh, desiring to come in and to make it what it should be. He said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. And this knock is at the door of the church. And then he gets personal in this uh, uh, verse. He says, If any man, that is singular uh, today, if any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. The Lord enters this place today that we call the church uh, through the hearts of the believer. The Lord didn't waste sit down here on the mule or, or swing around in the rafters of this church. A uh, friend of mine waiting for us to come in that he might jump on us and fill us. A uh, friend of mine, we brought him with us. God is not in the church unless he comes in of uh, the hearts of the believers today. I want you to know, a uh, friend of mine, he indwells us. The Bible says uh, he doesn't uh, uh, indwell in the, in the things that are made by the hands of man, but he indwells us. We are uh, the tabernacle of the Holy Spirit. It's us. But even at that, let me get on, there has to be an ear that will hear the knocking and a willing heart to open the door and invite him in. You got to listen to him. You got to invite him. Amen. I, it's amazing what a, a, a difference would be made when the open door is given to the Lord. It's amazing what would happen in the church if they just opened the door and invited me. And it's amazing what I would happen in our homes if, if we just opened the door and invited me. And I, it's amazing.
amazing what would change in the world around us. I, I wouldn't mind if we just opened the door and invite the Lord to come in I, and let the love of God, friend of mine, shine forth I, and begin to dispel the darkness that uh, is deceiving the hearts of mankind. It'd be amazing today uh, uh, if people would surrender their life wholly and divinely unto the Lord. I, I'm glad I can say to you today that Jesus saved. Uh, he always has and he still lives. I, I friend of mine, who's he going to save? He'll save you. Uh, uh, if he's knocking at your heart's door, uh, uh, yes sir, friend, listen, uh, uh, his precious blood is still sufficient. Uh, uh, not to cover some of your sin, uh, uh, not to cover one of them, uh, uh, but to cover all sin today. Uh, uh, sufficient to break the chains of bondage uh, uh, that hold the lost soul so tightly. Uh, uh, the difference between a lost soul and one uh, uh, that's been saved begins uh, uh, with a knock upon the doorway of the soul. That's how it begins. Uh, I've been to mind I've never got saved. Uh, had there not been a knock upon the doorway of my soul. Uh, I've been to my neighbor can you. That's how it begins this morning. Uh, uh, Jesus through the Holy Spirit uh, uh, seeks for an invitation to come in. Uh, he'll never kick it all down of your heart. Uh, uh, but he stands and asks you uh, uh, if you'd like to have everlasting life. Uh, if you'd like to bring to mind. Uh, uh, be washed as white as snow. Uh, if you'd like to have an inheritance uh, uh, in the kingdom of Almighty God. Uh, and he's asking you uh, as the Holy Spirit is knocking at the doorway of your heart. Uh, uh, listen, friend, there's more today that has rejected the call the first time uh, or the knock than those that haven't. Uh, uh, but listen, uh, uh, because of his willingness uh, uh, that none should perish, uh, uh, but that all should come to repentance, uh, uh, that knock was persistent. Uh, uh, it was persistent in my heart. Uh, and I'm not, uh, 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 with no doubt, I believe I can say it's been persistent in your word. Uh, uh, but hearts need to be aware uh, uh, that he ain't going to knock forever. Uh, I know that goes against doctrine. Uh, I know that goes against some that are preaching. Uh, uh, you can get saved anytime you want, but you can't. Uh, I pray to mind when the knocking sees, uh, uh, the opportunity sees. Do you understand me? Uh, I pray to mind he's not going to knock forever. Uh, it's a serious matter today uh, uh, when you consider when there's no more knocking. Uh, as I said, you just can't get saved uh, uh, any time you want to. Uh, I know you can't today. Uh, it takes more than just saying I'm sorry uh, and become a son of God. Uh, I realize today, friend, uh, uh, people don't want to hear that. Uh, uh, that's because they want to live like hell uh, as long as they can get up and run around and do their thing. Uh, and they want to wait till a deathbed and get right with God uh, until they're too old to do anything. But I'm not saying God won't save you. Uh, I'm just saying that's what you think. Uh, uh, that's what you want to do. Uh, uh, you want to live it up. Uh, I pray to mind while there's any strength in your body. Uh, uh, suck in all the world you can suck in. Uh, uh, and then you want to try to get right with God. Yeah. Uh, uh, three heartbeats from hell. Uh, I hope you do. Uh, I hope you get saved. Uh, 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 but there ain't no guarantee of that. Uh, uh, I pray to mind listen. Uh, uh, it takes a broken spirit uh, and a broken Broken and contrite heart. Uh, I would pray a sincere prayer uh, of repentance today. Uh, you're not sincere in your prayer. Uh, I for forgiveness uh, unless your spirit's broken. Uh, unless your heart uh, uh, is broken and contrite. Uh, uh, and listen, it has to be one. Uh, and that only conviction uh, I can produce this morning. Hey, man. Uh, a conviction comes uh, uh, when we hear the knocking. Hey, Amen. Uh, uh, you can't feel conviction uh, unless you hear the knocking uh, of Jesus at the doorway of your soul. Uh, I'm telling you today uh, how wrong we are. Uh, and yes, he is. Uh, I'm telling us today uh, uh, how corrupt and wretched we are uh, and how we need him uh, uh, to rescue us from the damnation of hell uh, and to set our feet on the rod uh, and put a new song in our mouth. Uh, now listen and we don't have to ask anybody what's wrong. Uh, it's a personal issue uh, uh, between us and the Lord. Uh, and without that conviction, uh, uh, we'll never feel the spiritual guilt uh, and the sorrow necessary uh, uh, to break our stone 
be hard. I mean, without conviction, you'll have no sorrow. Amen. Without conviction, you'll feel no guilt. And until you begin to feel these things, and your heart will never be broken. And until it's broken, you'll never humble yourself down and get in earnest in your praying. I for forgiveness, amen, this morning. And you see, without the knocking, none of this would ever happen today. Hearts know they're unprepared to meet God. How the knocking at the door revealed that. If God's knocking at your door this morning, there's something wrong. And you need to see what's happening. Open up the door and let him in. Now listen to me, friend of mine. The pleading of the Holy Spirit must be heard. I heard as illustrated in the knocking amen this morning. One only opens the door in vain if there's nobody there. I want to tell you something. There's people today friend, that they're not hearing any knocking. Amen. Oh, they open the door, but there's nobody there. It's vanity today to open the door when there's nobody there. When there's no more knocking. When you've convinced yourself that you don't need Jesus. And when he turns away, there'll be no other way for you to get saved this morning. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When the knocking ceases and the opportunity diminishes and you'll have no other way to get saved. Amen. Today. Listen that don't want to be heard uh, but it needs to be breathed uh, and the knocking at your heart's door uh, is your opportunity of being a uh, uh, for your eternity today uh, and those that wait like Felix did uh, in Acts 24 25 uh, and for a convenient season uh, I found themselves uh, on the short end of the stick uh, uh, having only their self to blame uh, and you can't blame God uh, if you turn your back on this message. Uh, uh, this ain't no coincidence. Uh, uh, and that God gave me this message. Uh, this ain't no coincidence. Uh, 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 that you're hearing it with your ears. Uh, uh, God sent it with purpose. And uh, uh, God don't shoot a deceitful bow. Uh, hey, your name at your feet. Uh, he's aiming at your heart. And uh, uh, you know how you're living. And uh, uh, you know your spiritual condition. Uh, uh, between you and God. And uh, uh, you need to wake up. And uh, uh, you still Still can today. Yeah, if there's a knocking at your door, I'll be thankful to God and open it up and let him in. My time's about gone. But what if the knocking, I spend the mind ceases in your heart today? What if you don't ever have another opportunity to be saved? And now's the accepted time. But today, right now, is the day of your salvation. I will give Yield your heart to Jesus. How will you rebel and reject him and walk away again? But I'm here to tell you I'm not done. But I'm running out of time. I'm running out of gas. I'm here to tell you this morning how that when there is no more knocking, I bet it'll get serious then. You need to get serious with God today. You need to call upon the name of Jesus. You need to believe your case uh, I'm a part of the Lord uh, and that God will save you uh, and set your captive spirit free uh, and may God bless you uh, I pray this message uh, has had meaning to you uh, and that it's been directed uh, to you uh, I pray the Holy Ghost of God uh, may God touch you uh, until the next time uh, amen and amen uh, praise the Lord uh, thank you Jesus